If you want to do motion graphics work in Blender, you probably need to jump through hoops to do something interesting. But the second option is to rely on add-ons, which can help you do the job much faster and cleaner, like what you can do in Cinema 4D. Before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the super high market is going through its biggest sale of the year. So if you want to get some add-ons, texture packs, courses, you name it, it is the best time to do so. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with this new add-on called Blender MoGraph Toolbox. It basically brings Cinema 4D's MoGraph style workflow in a very user-friendly way. I mean, it will give you handy tools like procedural object arrays, fields, falloffs, text animations, and more. Essentially all the motion graphics goodies that Blender users have been craving. The idea is to drastically speed up your workflow. I mean by that, instead of filling with complex geometry node setups, you can just drag and drop preset motion effects and let the add-on handle the heavy lifting. Generally speaking, it is great for things like logo animations, UI motion, and abstract effects. Since it is relatively new, it leverages Blender's latest features, like geometry nodes, but generally speaking, it is really great. Another interesting add-on is called Animax. This add-on is a procedural animation system, which has been around for a while, and I believe it is catchy in a way for how it makes animating tons of objects super easy. Well, it lets you create motion graphics by applying built-in effects or presets to multiple instances, so you can get eye-catching animations without painstaking manual keyframing. And the workflow is actually straightforward. Just pick an effect or combination of different effects, tweak a few parameters, and voila, you've got an animation without bangling any nodes. The interesting thing is that Animax has been actively maintained over the years. It even got a major overhaul to run on Blender's geometry nodes, and recent updates added features like advanced fracturing tools and ensured compatibility through Blender 4 and even Blender 5. On the other hand, Cyber Holograms is a collection of slick holographic material shaders, which you can use in Blender, and you can put it like this. It is like a pack of futuristic, animatable materials which you can slap on your objects to make them look like sci-fi holograms with scan lines, glows, and everything. The materials are fully procedural, and they work in both EVN cycles, which is a good thing, so you can easily get that flickering and high-tech hologram effect, and you can do that in real time by the way. And the pack is asset browser ready, which means you can drag and drop, and it also includes an integration for the Extreme PBR add-on, which is made by the same developer, making it easier to tweak the materials if you use that. It even comes with extra goodies, like preset projector light beam objects, to simulate hologram projectors. As I said, this is super useful for different motion graphics scenes. The add-on might not be an animation system per se, but it is awesome for giving your Blender renders a futuristic vibe, which you can mix with different motion graphics systems. Another cool add-on for motion graphics is called B4D Tools. This one is actually made to recreate Cinema 4D's motion experience in Sun Blender. In fact, it was developed by Cinema 4D user to help other Cinema 4D artists feel at home in Blender. So if you came from Cinema 4D, this add-on is gonna help you with the workflow in Sun Blender. So it basically provides familiar features like cloners, effectors, and fields, all implemented with Blender's geometry nodes under the hood, to make motion graphic style animations that simple. On the fly, you can produce those classic clone and effector setups, you know, without manually building any node trees. And over the past couple of years, this add-on has seen regular updates, and now it is in version 1.4.3, which added more functionality and polish. In a similar vein, you have JMOGRAPH, which is another Cinema 4D inspired motion graphics toolkit, but this one is built entirely with geometry nodes. It began as a node group collection, released a few years ago, which helps you set up clone arrays and effectors, and you can do that quickly by dropping in pre-made node setups. It brings features such as linear and radial cloners, in addition to random, step, and plane effectors, and basic field controls, you know, stuff designed to mimic Cinema 4D's motion graph system in Blender. It is a slightly older project, initially released around 2021 and 2022, but it has seen many updates. For example, new versions added a radial clone mode, and even a volume cloner to fill 3D shapes with instances, 
the developer has kept it compatible with the recent Thunder versions, which is a good thing. So even though geometry nodes have evolved over the years, this add-on actually adapted with it. On the other hand, Motion Animate is a more recent add-on, focused also on motion graphics, specifically animated typography. It is interesting because it comes with a big library of preset text animations, in addition to motion templates, around 40 text presets, and dozens of demo files. So you can literally drag and drop a cool motion text effect into your scene, and then customize the text to whatever you see fit. Under the hood, it uses geometry nodes, which means these animations are procedural and often require no manual keyframing. This makes it great for quickly generating things like kinetic typography, logo reveals, and other fancy motion design elements that would normally be tedious to animate by hand. And the add-on has been getting steady updates too. At this moment, it includes about 70 specialized motion animate node groups, which you can mix and match to build complex effects. You can say it is like having a ready-to-go motion graphics toolkit, that is, with Tim Thunder's asset browser. A totally different kind of add-on is called Oddvis, which is an audio visualization add-on that lets you create auto-reactive animations in Blender. And the good thing is that it is actually free. You can grab it from GitHub, and according to the developer, buying it on Superhive just donates to the Blender Foundation. This add-on has been around for quite some time now, and its main trick is analyzing audio, either in real time or from an audio file, and using that data to drive animations. For example, you can have objects scaling or moving to the beat or song, creating equalizer style bar visuals, or even more complex effects synced to music. It offers a real-time analyzer and a sequence analyzer for making animations to an audio file, and this one I think is useful for music videos especially. There are even extra features like a shape modifier for animating geometry with sound, which sounds cool in addition to a spectrogram generator and a party mode for full screen live visuals. And despite being older, I mean, it was released six years ago, this add-on is still free and available for the latest updates. Last but not least, I have to talk about animation nodes, which isn't a commercial add-on either because it is free. And let me tell you, this is a legendary free add-on that Blender users have been using for many years. It was introduced as a node-based motion graphics, an animation tool for Blender, which has been the case before geometry nodes. Essentially, it is a node-based visual scripting system, which you can use for animation in Blender. It was created by Jack Luke, who later became, interestingly enough, a Blender developer. This animal lets you do crazy procedural animation setups, from instancing and fracturing objects, to driving motions with math formulas, or even audio for that matter. And you can do that through a flexible node editor. Back in the day, between 2016 and 2019, this was the go-to tool for motion graphics, and many complex animations were made possible only using it. Even though Blender now has geometry nodes built in, the add-on is still alive and kicking, and the community has continued to support it and update it over time. It got some recent updates too, so it still works with Blender 4, and it has a lot of different options and features as I said, even though it is a bit geeky perhaps, but it is incredibly powerful for generating procedural motion graphics, and you can do all of that inside Blender. So guys, if you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.